right. Hello everyone, I'm Haley Shaw. And I'm Lindsay Lashway. Welcome to the Spring 2009 6 edition of the Signal UCAST. Here is the news this week. Graduation is fast approaching for many UHCL students. Time to celebrate with friends and family as they watch you walk across the stage to receive your degree. But for the graduates of Spring 2009, you're being asked to limit your guest list to five people that you want to watch you graduate. <laughs> That's right. The university is asking students to voluntarily restrict their guest list as a safety precaution. Last year, during the graduation ceremony, the guests exceeded the limit of the Reliant Arena, causing a safety hazard. As a way to compensate, the graduation ceremony will be broadcast live on the internet for family and friends to watch. Brenda Cabanis has the full details of this story. Hey, Lindsay! How good are your study skills? Well, let me tell you, it's hard to have a job, raise a kid, and study for school all at the same time without any help. But the President's budget proposal for the 2009-2010 school year includes creating a new student success center. The center would provide our students with help they need to succeed in their college experience. Sounds like a great addition to our school. It does. Jenna Simpson covers this story in this week's article. For those students in the School of Science and Computer Engineering, our featured adjunct professor of this issue is Ken Goodwin. He brings more than 20 years of experience to his classroom along with real-world knowledge he has learned through his job at NASA. Congratulations, Ken. I hear his students consider him a great teacher. Hmm. Did you know he is actually in Nepal on his fourth trip mountain climbing in the Himalayas? Wow, that's amazing. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Want to hear something else amazing? We all love going to see little animals at the zoo at Mo or Moody Gardens, right? Of course. Well, one of our reporters, reporters, Christy Minter, went to the penguin encounter located in the Aquarium Pyramid South Atlantic at Moody Gardens, where she got to go behind the scenes and into the habitat. That sounds like <clears throat> a ton of fun. How awesome would that be? I'm a little jealous. Christy even got to watch... The penguins paint a picture with their feet. How much fun! And something else that's fun is our very own editor, Matt Grismeyer, a.k.a. Superman, and assistant editor, Jenna Simpson, went to TIPA over the weekend in Dallas. TIPA is the Texas Intercollegiate Press Association convention where our very own student publications won a total of 34 awards on both state and national level. Good job to everyone involved with student publications for the amazing honor. We com competed with the best of the best. You know, Lindsay, our school is unlike many of the schools competing. How so? Our staff holds their positions for a semester while enrolled in the newspaper publication class, while other school staffs hold their position for up to four years. It is a true honor to win these awards. Congratulations to everyone involved. Well, that's it for this <clears throat> edition's UCAST. Find these stories and many more in our sixth edition of The Signal located all around campus. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Haley. Have a pleasant evening and a happy tomorrow.